cut my hair down into a mohawk and grew a, a goatee beard and, and I guess outwardly I was, was felt myself just being one in the same with that role of a, of a, a combat doctor just operating purely uh, mechanically in that function, all, all emotion was, uh, I kind of had to remove that from myself at the time. The Kilo stood for a medic. They're the ones we kind of love the most when we need them, um, but the ones we don't always think about when we don't need them. The helicopter would, would flare and hit the deck and, and by that time it was, it was sort of a fever pitch. Almost feeling like that saving private rhyme where you see the dirt sort of exploding around you, that was exactly what it was like. There's times where you're the, the medical bloke on the spot where you've got a friend of yours injured or dying in front of you and you're it. That's where the concept came from. Unconventional medicine, unconventional warfare. Voodoo medics. We'll do the voodoo so you can do what you do. The trauma they see is exponential. Um, they're there to save our lives. There's not many other jobs like them in the military that are so critical when that time comes. You definitely brought us closer. Yeah, at least the person who saved my life. If you can't be saved by a medic in the field in Afghanistan, you weren't going to be saved. Simple. And I looked at Mary and said, Sean's home. Yeah. Yeah, you're just waiting for that moment. You, know, you get that that feeling of you know, butterflies in your stomach and just that feeling of you know, nausea, just hearing that as one of your own boys being injured. Uh, this was the first and, and luckily the last time that I had uh, lost an Australian soldier uh, at my hands. And the young men go to war, some die. Yeah. Your state is not yours. And when it is, you've got to live with it. Spent about half an hour sewing up her chest and, and trying to get it back to some sort of, you know, as good as we could. I was, I was ready for this a long time ago. This is a gift. This is a gift of strength. This is a gift of power and this is a gift of resilience. If I can deal with this, right, then, then I should be able to deal with anything.